okay, let's get you to buy in on this. And then later you're, you're watching like the Asians like just collect right. all the millions, right? right. So reparations. They got to do reparations specifically for Foundation of Black Americans. How do they tell who's Foundation? That's what we're doing out here in California. They have a reparations committee that we've been on their bumper, and we made sure that they made it lineage-based because there were people trying to make it race-based so they can just give it to any black person who was harmed by racism. That's very dangerous because if you do that, you allow other immigrant groups to come in. So now Hispanics can say, well, I was harmed by racism. I need to get in on that, too. You got to make it lineage based. You so let me ask you a question. So, 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 two people who came from one came from Trinidad, one came from Haiti. Mm-hmm. They've been here since the nineties. They mm-hmm. had a kid. The kid's now thirty. Mm-hmm. The kid says, "All I know is here. Mm-hmm. I need some of that reparation no, money." Because he's not a descendant of slaves in America. He's not a foundation of Black American. The Foundation of Black American reparations claim is a specific claim about slavery. See, this is not a claim about racism. Okay. If we want to have a reparations thing about racism, that's a whole different claim. We're talking about something that happened to a specific group of people. We were enslaved in this country, and we were never compensated for it. We need that group compensated. You can tell who's a foundational black American. You go back to the 1870 census. If you can trace your lineage back to that census, you're a foundational black American. Also, you have to be classified as black for the, the... the last 10 years. That's another thing, too, because white people will try to say, well, hell, look at I got a grandpa, a great grandfather who was a slave and they're white now. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> They'll try to, they've been trying to pull that type of game. No, your ass going to sit down somewhere. Yeah, yeah. So, you know? so you're making sure there's, there's nobody's going to come in for this. None of that. No, fin- no Rachel Dolezal's, <laughs> no Justin Timberlake's, and none of that fake shit. So, yeah, you have to be classified as black. I wanted to go further. You have to have Negro, black, or colored on your birth certificate. Mm. I wanted to go there. But 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 wait, the you, you do know like within, you know, the black community there's been a lot of culture mixing and a lot of, you know, mixing um like for example, you might have somebody who's a foundational black American who then who then had three th- kids with three three women and one might be from the islands, one might be, you know, from Africa, whatever. like who cares? You know what I mean? But how do you how do you figure out who to really give if they have to, do they have to be of pure blood at that point? No, no. So if you can trace one parent back to a plantation, you're good. That's all you have to do. Even if it's one person, you know, your mom or whatever, and you you know you got white like, people like, are definitely like, gonna get that shit in. No, no, hell no. Because you got to still be classified as black. You got to be classified as black still. You have to be Not classified Rachel as black Do- now. Rachel, Do- yeah, but yeah, on your birth certificate, Rachel Dolezal ain't black on her birth certificate. That's why I say we got to have transracial. Oh, uh, but they, on her birth certificate, she ain't black. You see, you see. But yeah, man, there's a lot of people who um who are have foundation. They're still qualified for reparations. How much money? Man, we're talking about starting off with twenty trillion. Let's start off with twenty trillion. Mm. Start how many off. What do you with, think is being affected? So twenty trillion for how many people? Um, I. They say it's like forty million of us. I think there's more because we're undercounted. Um, a lot of black people we don't like taking the census thing. We true, don't. True. A lot of us we live we you know live under the radar. Um, that's another reason why I think they're afraid of really giving reparations because they're going to see the true number when they start showing that we're going to get checks. You're going to start yeah, seeing people coming the truth. out. Of the they're coming out the damn yeah, yeah, yeah. I believe there would be about shit seventy million black people here man to be honest i believe there's way more um foundational black americans than than being counted so let's talk logistics where does the 20 million come from the united states government because that's where out of any specific budget or just find the no no no. what was the budget for the COVID relief they came up with a with money for that where was the budget for the damn um, ukrainians that came out of nowhere give me some of that ukrainian money the money you gave to the um, uh, the bailout for the corporations. They they come up with money all the time. They do the do money that. they gave to the Afghanistanians. Get me some of that. So, so so I think this is one of the reasons why white folks specifically are resistant to anything about a reparation is that once they have finally admitted that they owe, it's going to be one of those things where you not only collect, but you go back to the back of the line or you come back later and say, I need more. So is this a one-time payment? And how would that break down to like every particular black foundational uh, foundational black American? How would that break down like um, per average? Is it like a hundred thousand? Like what is it? There's a, there's a lot of different logistics to it. Sometimes it could be in monthly payments. It could be one lump sum payment for the family. So the logistics of it that's something that we can get to when we get to it. And again. We're starting off with cash payments. That's a start off. Then we got to get into land grants because so many black people had their land taken. They were run off their land. They were 
out here in um, California, Los Angeles, they had something called Bruce's Beach. The family just I got just, their land. I, I just read that. They just got their land back up there a few miles. How up, the hell did they get that back? I would and, imagine, and, like, they were going to fight that the, shit the to the nail. Roots, yeah, the grassroots movement, man. The grassroots, yeah. you're on it. You stay focused and let these people know, hey, we need what's ours, man. There's a place up there north of Bakersville called Allensworth where a bunch of black people founded a town, and they ended up poisoning the water supply and ran the black people off. The place is a tourist attraction up there. But we are so grounded in building so many of these communities and we've been wronged by the society so we have to be compensated and there's different ways to do it but just the fact that they have to do it that's the main thing what about if they look at it and they 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 say well we're going to kind of treat this like how we treated the native americans in a sense like Mm -hmm. you know what we'll kind of like give you guys some land and if you guys live in that if, if, if the fbas live in that particular place we won't govern it we'll give you some tax breaks this and third but chill out with the money we're not giving you shit you know what I mean? It's, it's, it's like one of those type of things. No, man, the Native Americans are paper 